What course are we on today? Uh, we're on the blue course. This is my favorite of the three. Right from the start, he's teeing you off at the high point of the property. You, you, you probably walk up 80 to 100 feet up to the first tee, and you get this view, kind of expansive view out over the pretty much the whole course of blue. If you're playing in the morning, the sun's coming up, it's like an absolutely breathtaking view and kind of like a, a, it's a really good first impression. I think I would rate it as one of my favorite, probably my favorite uh, opening hole definitely in florida and I, I would put it up there with like one of the best opening holes in in golf i think the front yeah. nine is super super strong a really interesting opening hole fun par five second yeah, bingo yeah. that's birdie i really liked three i've seen that hole before and it was just a better one. Oh, sure. smash factor You need a winnie. And then number four is a hole I'd call out as one of my favorites. It's a beast of a par four, and it's kind of got that classic doke, you know, milk carton bunkers. And just short of the milk carton bunker, about 80 yards. If you built a pitch and putt, you better have good wedge game. <laughs> Oh. The six hole is this awesome drivable par four. You can kind of just bombs away on a driver. Oh, Todd. Uh, even par, all pars right now. Uh, very uncharted territory for me to just be that uh, autopilot. A lot of two putts, you know? So we like that. It's been a fun round so far. Number seven, again, I think that's the, the signature hole. I think the front nine builds to that hole and the green's interesting. It's just kind of like the welcome to stream song moment. Yeah, nine's a weird, a challenging par five. You gotta hit a good tee ball. Out of way. And I've gotten, you know, punched in the gut a couple times trying to carry that last tip of that, you know, massive bunker built into the ridge. Out of way. Tacos at the turn. Not to be missed. Got the carnitas fish. Very solid. What are you gonna do? 13 is a great risk reward, like reachable par four, but I almost feel like it's it's like too difficult. It's a resort course, I'm not gonna lay up, right? I wanna I wanna hit the shot. No, oh, that's the last uh, ball. TC's coming around, his game's picking up a little bit. We're gonna see if he can drive the green on this one. Uh. Oh, yeah. DC's a pro, she's got 69 yards. Nice. Let him in. Let's play. Be so good. Shot here. Oh, I like the 
Damn. <laughs> and then 17 is a hole I'd love to call out because I think it is one of the most beautiful holes on the property, like all three courses. It's this, but it's this beast. It's like 600 yard par five with a great hazard. It's TC against a great hazard. Yeah, this hole's eating my lunch every time I've played it, so I'm trying to get redemption. TC's forecasting par here. Forecasting par. I like it. Optimism, optimism, nothing less. God, slip. God dang it. All right, we'll take on the great hazard next try. Great. Ben said he, he's kind of interested in driver off the deck. I said I'd be interested in watching that. Oh, oh no. Hit the left ball. Left ball. Oh, I'm gone today, guys. Tom got you again. Legs are gone, yeah. And then you walk to 18, and I like unequivocally think it's the worst hole at Stream Song. You know, hit a great drive, like dead straight down the middle. Like, great, that's going to be perfect. Well, you get over the ridge, and there's a freaking blind centerline bunker yep. sitting down at the bottom of this hill. Tommy Ganey in the house. I knew, I knew something was off today. <laughs> yeah, turns out I was wearing a left-handed glove all day. Or, like, a, a left-hand glove that you would wear when you're playing right-handed all day. Every time I walk off that hole, it leaves a, a sour finish to the round. Because it's yep. just like, man, this is... It, it, it just seems, as Tron would say, a little mean-spirited. Thanks, Doke, for leaving me with a nice taste in my mouth there. <laughs> Good stuff, man.